Hey you guys, it's me, Chris Kelly. I'm in the rubber room. This is like so random. It's Wednesday. It's like five o'clock, five thirty. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna hop on here real quick. My husband is a professor at the college, and so all of their classes are being done online. And so he's gonna start his Zoom class at six o'clock. But I wanted to pop on real quick and let you know that. Um, I'm going to try and get here as often as I can to craft with you. I miss you guys not being in the rubber room. I am canceling everything in the rubber room for the end of, through the end of this month. And um, hopefully I'll be back on in-person classes um, as soon as the government lets me know I can without spreading too many germs. I don't want to get anybody sick. And um, we all should be self-quarantining and... Uh, taking this very seriously at this point. I don't know. I'm from Michigan. We had our first death due to the coronavirus today. So I think people may be taking it a little more serious now than they have been. But on to happier things, I have on my personal page, my business group, my team page, my Stampin' Friends page, all of it. We are starting a card shower. I went to the post office today and mailed out seven bags with, um, they were the padded envelopes with 25 cards each in them for people that are have agreed to participate in um, the card shower and who needed some nice cards. So I um, am working really hard to spread the joy, keep people a little more upbeat, and um, I am redoing my classes. So obviously I do Stampin' Up! as a full-time business. And so I need the income from my sales and from my classes to help our family uh, financially. So um, I am going to be revamping classes and I will offer two versions, a to-go version of a class and an online class. And um, hopefully I can get that together tonight and tomorrow with some uh, dates and get everything updated and be back here at some point tomorrow so that um, um, I can share those dates of classes with you and how the classes are going to work. So hopefully it will work out. So right now, though, I'm going to share a cute little project with you. This is one of the cards that um, I made at our team meeting. And it uses the Happy Birthday stamp from by the dock stamp set and also the well-dressed set the well-dressed set is a celebration set that you can get through the end of this month it's free with a 50 dollars purchase so and i'm gonna turn you down and we can get started okay let's just i always think i'm organized and so hi susie thanks for watching i'm gonna turn you down hold on and we'll get started. Get some little lights on here for you. I have to share with you, I got my paper pumpkin. I don't know if you got yours in Ohio, Susie, but I got mine. Paper pumpkin is canceled. So I will be coming on and sharing this kit and the cards in it in the next couple days, maybe by this weekend. So this was the paper pumpkin seven year anniversary set. And we actually got um, two stamp sets in it. This one has clouds and hearts. It's just the cutest little one. And then this one has rubber boots and boots with um, flowers on them. Super cute. And so here's some alternative card ideas. And then this is your kit. I did a paper pumpkin unveiling last month. So these are the three cards that we're gonna make from this kit. Let's see if I can get them up there so you can kind of see which ones. And when I come on, I will share how to make all three of these cards and I will share some alternative ideas with you. So that's just kind of a sneak peek into my paper pumpkin box. And um, we'll put it together later this week or maybe this weekend, maybe Saturday night, we'll do a Zoom with some adult beverages and put it all together. Okay, so let's get our goodies out. We have our card base. 
This piece goes on the inside of your card. We've got some dimensionals, some stickies. That designer series paper is from the Gulf Suite. I think it's called the Country Club Suite. Lots of stamps for this one. And lots of pieces. I'm normally not a really, gosh, I use like five stamps for this one, but they all coordinate super nicely. As you know, all of our stuff does, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have used our Absolutely Argyle 3D embossing folder. I actually used this at a class and put a little sticky note on it saying that you used it with only <laughs> the base and a purple folder. And so you can see right where my sticky note was. <laughs> oh, it's the little things that just put a smile on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just putting my card base into my embossing folder. I'm gonna go right up to the edge. Let's just see how difficult I can make this. I'm gonna go right up to the edge, close my folder, and then put that around the back, okay? And then I'm gonna bring my Big Shot in, and I'm gonna use just my regular Big Shot platform. I'm going to put my folder in. Always you, when you want your embossing folder to go through your machine, you use the folded edge first. And my purple plate. Okay. And we'll just put that right through. You always have a tight feel when you're putting something through your Big Shot, whether you're embossing with it or cutting with it. You want it to be a real snug fit. Okay. So, that's gonna give it that really cool embossed um, Argyle look to it. Okay. So then, let's get some of these pieces stamped. This one is the inside of my card. So we'll start there. Amy Coenders um, shared her a, a card similar to this. So that's where I get my inspiration from. So we're gonna say happy birthday on the outside and awesome at any age on the inside. So what I did was, let's get this in there. I'm gonna take my awesome at any age. Let me put these over here so you guys don't have to see my arm reaching through there all the time. So I'm gonna put my awesome at any age in here. And when I line my white cardstock up so it's straight on my grid paper, that's gonna ensure that I get a straight image, provided of course that my stamps are lined up straight on my blocks, okay? So I want a lighter image to go behind this one. So what I'm gonna do is ink this up and I'm using my basic gray ink and I'm gonna stamp off. So this is actually called a first generation and then this is your second generation, okay? And I'll just set that aside for right now. And I have these pieces this is the two inch circle punch. And then I just cut out with my Big Shot a circle to layer on top of it. So I'm actually gonna use this hat. This reminds me of a hat from the um, old time kind of vintage shows that the mafia guys used to wear. I don't know why, but. <laughs> And I also wanted that in a lighter image, so I did the second generation there also. Now these pieces were cut by hand. And these two pieces, I used my um, stitched rectangles for. So I did cut those out with my Big Shot. Okay, 
this one, I actually think I'm going to start with my words first because I want to make sure I have room to get my um, tie on there. So I want my words towards the bottom of my rectangle. Okay. And then I'm going to take my tie and ink it up. I'm going to do the same thing and stamp it off with it. So you have that second generation. There we go. All of those stamps. And it went very, very quickly, didn't it? I'm going to put them all back in my little case so I don't set my cards on them. I could just clean them at this point, but I actually have one more card that I want to do, so... I'm just going to put them all right back in here. And then I'll move this out of the way so I don't set something in it. I am extremely trashy when it comes to my workspaces sometimes. So I'm just going to put a little snail adhesive on the back of my circle and layer it onto my Knight of Navy piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with this Whisper White Rectangle and layer it onto my Knight of Navy piece. This one, I normally leave a quarter of an inch to layer, and this one I just left an eighth of an inch, which leaves about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around the edges. So you can see I've left about twice as much on this piece of paper as I have on that one for the trim. So I'm just going to put our designer series paper on top of this piece of Knight of Navy. Make sure it's nice and straight on there. Wow. Not straight at all. So I'm just going to lift it up and move it over just a tiny bit. Much better. Okie dokie. And I'm going to put this. Look at me open those up so I can just spill them all over. I'm going to put a lot of snail adhesive on the back of my Knight of Navy. Just because I want it to stick really good. And because the front of my card is embossed, there's kind of like little nooks and crannies in it that I want to be sure... I get lots of adhesive on it so it sticks right down. And again, I'm just going to line my paper up with a little bit of excess up here. And I'm going to go in and just trim. See, just that little like sixteenth of an inch up there. So I'm just going to trim that off so it's nice and square with the top of my card. Okay, so it's nice and even up there. And then I am going to put both of my sentiment and my little hat on with some dimensionals. So, you'll just add some dimensionals to the backs of all of these. I hope you guys are all doing well. I worry about so many of my customers who getting out and stamping was their kind of social event and without that we don't have a social event going on so i'm hoping i can get some zoom things and some other things going so that it will seem more like we are still together while we are going through this i know it's going to bring a financial hardship for a lot of us and we just need to Stay calm. There's not a lot we can do. Most of it's out of our control at this point. So all we can do is what they're telling us to do and take the steps we need to be taking. So there we go. I am going to put just a couple little black sequins on there. And for my sequins, I'm going to use the little dots. These are the um, dots that come in my paper pumpkin. If you guys are fans of my videos, my Create with Crystal Live, you know I love using these. 
um, they're especially good for sequins. So when I'm done with my paper pumpkin, I just kind of keep them around in my stamping bag so that I can use them. Let's put one over here. How about that? We'll do one right in there. Wow. Okay. So then I'm just going to flip the backs off of these. So they'll be sticky. This is my pick a tool. Pick your tool. And um, I use it for so many things. This poker, I use my die cut. I use it for my adhesive, like you just saw. This is great. It's like a little bit of gum here, kind of a sticky. And so I'm going to use that. It works with your dimension, I'm sorry, not your dimensionals, your rhinestones, your sequins, um, anything that's tiny that you want to stick. Okay. There we go. How about that quick and easy, right? So we have a great little masculine card there. And you can use this for birthday. You can put a happy Father's Day on there, whatever you want to do. Oops, I forgot my little piece for the inside. You don't want to nick it inside. Okay, there we go. And during this card shower, it's the perfect time to, to send this card. Find somebody on your list, or if you don't know somebody that's having a birthday in the next couple days, you can still send them this card and just send a little note inside and ask them to pass it on to somebody who is having a birthday. So, all right, when you go to order, place your order. Um, my hostess code for this month is CJXVFXYG. And I will put pictures of this card on my website with the hostess code. So it'll be on my website, my blog, and on my Facebook pages. Okay? So let's get you guys back up here and see if you have any questions I can help answer. Hi, Karen. I hope you guys are all <laughs> surviving your husbands being home and your kids being home. <laughs> This is just such a crazy, crazy time. Um, I am an older person, and I do have some heart issues, so I am at risk. So tons of people <laughs> have been reaching out to make sure I'm okay. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Carol. Um, hi, Sherry. You guys, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here, and I hope you're all... Um, surviving the stir crazy i had a girlfriend that posted she was starting a wine tour she opened her pinot in the kitchen and was going to tour the house with it <laughs> i will be helping my husband with his zoom class tonight and then i'm going to get rid of my um, saint patrick's day nails give myself a little mani petty tonight i think um I'm kind of going out of my way to be kind to myself. I'm doing a lot of crafting, which I love. Sherry loaned me her um, stamp set, which you guys will get to see some samples of during the next week or so. So um, I, I hope that you're faring well. If you need anything at all, let me know. If you have someone you want me to send a card to, I'm happy to do that also. If you need cards to send to other people, let me know. I'm happy to send some to you. I have tons of cards. I did take a basket. I made a basket with 50 cards inside of it. They were blank cards. Um, meaning that they didn't say thinking of you or have a happy day or congratulations. They were blank on the front and blank on the inside so that the people in the nursing home could address them and use them for other people in the center with them or for their friends and family. Um, so I, I left that at the nursing home earlier this week and I do plan to do that again on Friday with another batch of cards. Um, people are shut in and we, we really need to be cognizant of the fact that 
kindness, a little bit of kindness is going to go a very, very long ways. Um, at the mothers that are home with kids, there was a um, stamping card kit that was a celebration item I had several of, and I deposited in with mothers. <laughs> earlier this week and I've been getting gorgeous thank you notes from their children and everybody's appreciative of anything that you can do so cards are a great way we've been blessed with a terrific talent and an opportunity so let's make the most of it you guys I'll be here to entertain you and um, hopefully you'll be entertained and inspired to not only be creative but to extend the kindness and the blessing that you have in Stampin' Up. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.